BBC News. More than 100 researchers in 18 countries have contributed to the first study looking into the world's fungi population. Fungi, fungi. Fungorum. You could say fungi, you know. Yes. A team from the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew has been looking at the role that fungi plays, fungi plays in everyday <laughs> life, from use in food and medicine to helping generate new biofuels. Helen Briggs reports. If you go down in the woods today, you're sure of a big surprise. They're not plants, not animals, but in a class of their own. Scientists say it's a forgotten kingdom that deserves more attention. So you see this little rosette thing? So this is a zoned rosette. We do have a responsibility to look after it for everyone else because if, if we lose all our old trees and, or we lose all, the, all these species because we're polluting them with air pollution, we, we've let a species disappear out of neglect. Here we have another example of the same species. But Kew has the world's biggest collection of dried fungi with more than a million specimens. This vast library may hold the answers to harnessing the superpowers of these curious organisms. Fungi are major degraders and decomposers in the world. All the leaf litter, branches, everything that falls in the forests and at all the uh, waste is degraded by, by fungi. Without fungi, ecosystems would, be, would collapse. Fungi have been serving humankind for centuries, providing medicines and food but there's still much to learn. Scientists believe fungi have promise in cleaning up waste and even breaking down plastic. Helen Briggs, BBC News. Time now is 13 minutes past eight. Let's return to our main story this morning. Theresa May.